Hey, are your campaigns lacking in that? Just a little something to help give it a little push. I've got a fantastic idea, and I'm going to tell you about it right after this. Today, I'm referring to, of course, the backstory. A character backstory can help you with your game setting. It can help keep things moving smoothly. It, it gives you good progression. It also gives your characters a, a sense of ownership in their own way of contributing to your campaign. Now I went through drive through RPG and I come across a sheet that you can have for both fillable and printable that you can put character background stories on. It comes in really handy. I filled one out myself a little while ago and you won't believe the information you can put on these things. A character background story can give you rich details about their past. It can give you information about their hopes, their dreams, um, whether or not they're looking for someone that they've lost in the family. Or even they've got somebody back home that's ill or something like that that really needs money and that's the primary reason they're out campaigning. You could also have someone who's like a thief class who's been out there and done some pretty nasty deeds. And that can be included in their background story. They could be wanted in several different regions or all over the entire continent. Maybe the only safe place they can go is a little specific island somewhere where assassins hang out at. Does your player's character enjoy animals? Are they a dog lover? Do they have a fear of cats? Are they allergic to an animal? That can all play into your game. You know, they could get hay fever when they're coming up on something. You could really play on this, and you can make it their story. The one thing I like the most about background stories is all the helpful little clues that you get. You know, like, they worked on a farm most of their life. They um, worked in the stables. Not everybody is orphaned and left to work in the stables brushing horses until they decide they want to just grab a hold of themselves and go somewhere and make a name for themselves. Does one of your players insist that they have knowledge of seamanship? You know, hey, that's how I learned how to tie all those fancy knots when we tied that guy up the other day. You know, that right there needs to be in that character record sheet. In that background story. Because if it's not, he can change his mind every time something comes up. But if it's written down, they got to stick to their story. You know, not everybody's going to have that mysterious background story that only them and the DM know anything about. First of all, I got to call bullshit to that. Because it never happens except when people are trying to hide something from the party. And that's always suspicious. And when you get a party member in there, you know that it says, oh, I don't know what my age is. Age is an arbitrary number. Actually, it makes a difference in the game. Because at certain age points, you do certain adventuring type campaigns. 99.9% .9 of the time, most of your first level, second level adventurers are going to be somewhere between the age of, if they're a human, say 15 to 23. That's a, a good average safe number. Most adventuring is going to leave scars. I've never seen a campaign where someone at least didn't get a cut in their face or they lost a finger doing something they shouldn't have been doing. You know, something like that is very important. That should also be put in your background story. There's a whole bunch of information out there on drive through RPG. I come across one called, There's Someone Back Home. It's Rules for Distant Loved Ones by Alex Kleppinger. I'm sorry if I messed up your name there, Alex. Now, this is a great read. It's a really good find. It's also free. Well, in there, it has information about your family ties, how close you are to your actual family, you know, significant others, children even. A very important detail that you can put in your background story is whether or not 
you know, an uncle. Uh, let's say he went out there, went on adventures, came back home, and told you all these great stories of where he'd been, battles he'd been in, stuff like that. Put that in there. It's very important. That could be inspiration for you. Think about jobs you might have held as you were growing up as a child. Or did you work in the blacksmith? Um, did you volunteer to help with the uh, city watch? You know, everybody's got a city watch. Maybe you had to take part because, say, your dad was sick, or your uncle couldn't make it because he was on a vendor. Perhaps you might have been shanghai as a youth, and then your family came across you when you were working on the docks helping moor a ship or unload one. Maybe as a child you were embarrassments of your family. It happens. They could have sold you out for the circus, or you could have been an apprentice to a wizard that for some reason just up and died and you had to find other employment. I like that angle they use when they're out trying to support a family member that's sick or a family member's disappeared and they're out looking for them. And one of my favorites is they had a family member that was killed by harpies and they're out for revenge against that one harpy and they're gonna find it no matter how far they have to travel to the ends of the earth they're gonna get their quarry. There also has to be ways, maybe, say you have to keep in touch with a loved one. Your DM could facilitate that in some way, shape, or form. Or maybe, just maybe, you got a druid friend in the group that can summon an animal to deliver a message for you. Things aren't like they are today. You know, when you just flip out your cell phone, Facebook Messenger, get in contact with anybody you haven't seen in 20, 30 years, but you've been talking to them, so you know what's going on in their life. There's got to be ways to get a hold of people that are in your extended family. Like maybe your cousin can meet up with you somewhere. You could have a couple rounds of drinks, get into a bunch of trouble, end up being thrown in the joint. Next thing you know, you tour together on a campaign. No matter how you slice it, a good background story is always good for the DM to have in their hands. Make two copies. That way you got one for yourself your dungeon master. This way, you're keeping each other honest, you're comparing notes. When something gets added, make sure you add it to both. That way, hey, you're involved in a poker game, guess what? You're not so good at playing poker. Everything's right there in your background story. We'll call this your personal book. Everybody's got one, and it's being written every day as you do something in it. Just think, what's going to be written in your book tomorrow? Who knows? You could go on a great adventure, just like your characters do when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.